Hello, thank you for attending and welcome to Next Generation IPS, ensuring effectiveness and performance. Brought to you by Stonesoft in conjunction with NSS Labs. My name is Matt McKinley and I am the Director of Product Management in the United States for Stonesoft and I'm joined today by Rick Moy, President of NSS Labs. As President of NSS Labs, Rick Moy is responsible for all business and editorial aspects of the company's operations. He is a leading expert with over 15 years of experience in the network security industry. His background spans software development, network administration, product management, business development, and sales and marketing for a variety of network security technologies, including intrusion prevention, anti-malware, content filtering, and SIM. Rick is a noted speaker and has appeared in dozens of print, online, and television media. Prior to joining NSS Labs, he served in a variety of key positions at leading technology upstarts such as WebSense, ESET, Portigo Networks, Provensys, Lucid Security, and Hightower. Rick holds a BS in Cognitive Science from UCSD and an MBA from SDSU. After the presentation by NSS Labs, guiding us through the process of IPS evaluation, I will follow up with some information about Stonesoft and the manner in which we address some of the challenges with intrusion prevention. Then we'll have a question and answer session where you can address questions to me or Rick about anything you've seen or heard today using the question and answer feature of GoToMeeting. <clears throat> this webinar will be recorded and slides will be available after the webinar. And with that, I will turn it over to Rick. of NSS Labs and I'll give you a quick overview of uh, our company and what we do, uh, slightly different from other, uh, other organizations in the marketplace, and then uh, talk about our, uh, our experience with testing uh, IPS products and uh, how that, uh, that can apply to, uh, to your, uh, your endeavors to select a, an IPS that will give you the best uh, security effectiveness and performance uh, for your organization. So NSS Labs has been around since 1991, uh, originally founded in Europe, uh, and has been operating in the U.S. for the last uh, four years. Uh, we're an independent lab. Uh, we do uh, some unique things in this space, and starting with, with research, uh, not just testing products, but we, we have an extensive threat intelligence network so that we're able to stay on top of the, the trends in, in the malware and exploit and vulnerability uh, environments. Because understanding the threat space is, is important uh, to, to know what you should be testing so that you can provide real world information to, uh, uh, to organizations to make decisions. Um, not only that, but we capture and, uh, and create taxonomies and, and archives of, of the different attacks uh, as well as uh, maintaining a, a very large network of vulnerable systems which are important in, in our testing. Um, we, don't, we don't simply <coughs> trust, uh, trust everything we see. We, we test the test tools that we use. We use live exploits. Um, we have uh, you know, a, very, uh, a very advanced analysis team, which is, is capable of doing uh, you know, vulnerability detection, uh, exploitation, uh, and, and handling a wide range of uh, malicious content. Uh, we also run a, uh, a number of really dozens of security products in our lab 24-7, uh, whether it's IPS, UTM, or endpoint products like antivirus uh, or endpoint security. And the reason being is we're, we're constantly running a, a live test framework uh, connected to the real internet. Uh, we're not simply pressing a, a big red button on a test tool. So um, it's, it's as, our objective is to test products as you would use them in, in your environment. And, and that's, a, that's a little bit unique for most test labs uh, because it introduces a lot more complexity and things can, things can go wrong. But on the other hand, you can also learn uh, what's really out there and how that, uh, that's affecting organizations. So uh, we do this um, in, in a unique way. We really take a hacker mindset and meld that with a QA discipline. And the reason I say that is because there are two ways of testing products. You can do basic validation of what they do, or you can go beyond that and find out what they don't do. Take the gloves off and, and understand where the edge cases are of different products. And that's very important because if you're not 
testing like the bad guys are attacking you, then there's really there's really not much point because you, you're not going to learn uh, where your the holes are in your defenses, and you're not going to be able to uh, to rectify those whether you're a vendor or or an organization. Um, so the output of, of what we do uh, ends up being test reports and analysis. And we have a uh, an, an analyst business model uh, similar to uh, a Gartner or Forrester, uh, one of those, uh, in that we sell the information as individual reports or subscriptions. Uh, we also have uh, a vulnerability scope product, which goes a lot deeper into uh, looking at defense in depth architectures down to the, each individual product. So, we'll talk about that a little bit more. And we also help uh, organizations do proof of concept testing and and consulting. So, see the slide should be advancing. I hope. So a uh, quick overview, a uh, number of different products, uh, technology categories that we have experience with, everything from firewalls um, the net and IPS on, and UTM on the network side to uh, the endpoint uh, products, anti-malware, web browsers, um, then work in wireless security, encryption, uh, web application security. Um, and here are some of the different products that we have, uh, have running in our, in our environment today. <clears throat> 